Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to play with dies. These are new dies that have just been released by Altenew. I'm going to go through all of them really quickly so you can take a look and then I'm going to show you some ideas. Now the first one is this burlap die which is probably my favorite from the whole release. It makes a great background. This is the Featured Sentiments die set. It comes with many different uh, sizes that you can use to cut out your sentiments and they have a rounded edge. They have also released a couple of 3D ones. So the first one is the Thin Frame 3D die set. If you put it together, you can create a frame and there are videos that show you how you can do that. And the second one is the mini 3D stars die set. You can uh, uh, fold it to create a dimensional star and um, that is flat on one side, but you can use two of them together to make an all-around 3D dimensional star. And here's a very versatile one. This is the simple nesting flowers. You can cut out all those different shapes and uh, layer them one on top of the other. There is no right or wrong here, just be creative. I love the funky design of the flowers and the leaves and I'm sure you're gonna have lots of fun using this die set. Now here's another one that you can mix and match with the flowers if you like. This is a leaf die set. They give you a basic leaf and then all the rest of the dies are decorative elements that you can die cut and stick on top of the basic leaf or you can use them separately like I'm going to do on today's video. So many different designs and don't think of them just as leaves, they can be petals as well to create your own flower. And now let's take a look at some of their new cover dies. This is the Tangled Loops cover die. It is four and a quarter by five and a half, so they are all going to cover up completely the card front. This is another favorite from this release. It is really versatile, that design is perfect for pretty much any background. And here are a couple of ties that can be used separately as well as together. You can see that you can nest one on top of the other to create a really dramatic background. And at the center just add your sentiment or a focal point. So this was the whole release. This video is actually part of a blog hub. Make sure to visit all the stops of the blog hub. You will find lots of inspiration and see all those products in action. So let's start with a uh, the first card for today, this is going to be a card with four colors and I'm going to use the burlap. I just die cut it from uh, craft cardstock and I'm going to add some glue at the back and stick it on top of my brown card base. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half panel and I'm going to bring in some dies from the leaf mix die set. I'm going to use the basic shape of the leaf and a couple more decorative dies. I always like to have three elements as my focal points. That's why I'm going to use three dies. Now, of course, you can use the decorative dies to uh, layer them on top of the basic shape of the leaf. I'm just going to use them as standalone elements. I'm using my mini blossom die cutting machine and I picked three car colors of cardstock that uh, are perfect for fall cards. So I have um, a burnt orange a yellowish one and a green one and to bring all the elements together I'm going to do some inking on the edges of my panel as well as a little bit of inking on the die cuts so here I'm using ground espresso just to darken up the edges a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing for the three die cuts now I want to add some shiny splashes on my background, mainly in a copper color. So for that I'm going to use my metallic watercolor palette by Altenew. I'm adding some water on my pan and I'm going to use my brush and add the splashes all over the background. These are going to dry nice and shiny. Now I am going to work on my sentiment, for that I use the Bold Things die set. This gives you the dies to cut out the letters as well as the outline. So I cut out the outline from black cardstock and I'm sticking all the gold letters on top. I added tiny little pieces of foam tape at the back so that I can pop it on my card. And I didn't press that sentiment too hard since I want to lift it again to create my cluster of leaves. So here I'm going to decide where I want the big leaf to be. 
I'm going to stick it down and I did add a little bit of curve on the leaf using my fingers. At the top I'm going to use a tiny little piece of foam tape so that I make sure this is going to be popped. So this is going to be tucked underneath the letter T. And then on top I'm going to stick the rest of the uh, die cuts. Again by using my glue. So I created a lovely cluster of uh, those leaves in lovely fall colors. So this is a great card for fall as well as for Thanksgiving. To finish it off I did add some copper gems here and there. And you can see some close up photos here. My next card is going to be simpler and for that I'm going to use dies from the Simple Nesting Flowers Layering Die Set. I'm going for a monochromatic look and feel for this card, so I'm going to use mainly shades of blue for the leaves and the flowers. So for die cutting everything I'm using cardstock from the Seashore Gradient Cardstock Set. I have all the pieces die cut here and you can see the three different colors just to add a little bit of uh, something extra on the die cuts and to bring them more to life I'm going to ink them up with different colors of Distress Oxide ink just a shade darker than the actual cardstock and I also die cut the uh, cover die this is the um, Stacked Diamonds cover die which I absolutely love I find it really versatile it fits pretty much any design and I think it is going to add a really subtle and interesting uh, look on your backgrounds so here I cut it out from uh, uh, vanilla cardstock and uh, I'm going to stick it on top of my card base For the flowers I want to add some dimension and for that I'm going to use the Floral Crafters toolset. This is by Tonic Studios. This is by no means something that you have to do. I just wanted to play a little bit more and have fun with my leaves and flowers. Now I'm going to put my flowers together so I'm layering a smaller flower on top of a larger one. There is no right or wrong on how you can layer these flowers. You can add even more layers if you like. And remember you can achieve a completely different and colorful look if you add different colors of cardstock. I just wanted to go monochromatic for this card. I did play around a little bit to decide where I want all those flowers to be on my card. And then I used my Nouveau Deluxe glue to stick everything down. For the sentiment I went with You Are Awesome from the Sentiment Strips. This is a stamp set that I keep using again and again and I did use one of those dies to cut it out. So you see it has a lovely rounded uh, edge. Now I'm going to use some foam tape at the back and stick it down and if you notice I did use the same colored cardstock as the cardstock that I used to die cut the cover die. To finish it off I'm going to add some gems at the center of the flowers and I went with white ones. And of course remember that you can achieve a completely different and colorful look depending on the colors that you decide to use, the number of layers that you decide to use on each flower, it can be fluffier. And of course you can use pattern paper if you like. So these were the cards for today, you can find links to everything I used down below in the description area. Don't forget this is part of a blog group, you will find all the info on my blog. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, stay safe.